Hi. In the last video, we have seen about uh, what are the different kinds of variables we will be using in a Perl. So, in this video, I will be showing you, uh, or we'll be discussing about the scalar variables and how do we declare in Perl's programming. Okay. Uh, it stores a single item of a data. First of all, we declare a variable and it stores only a single item of a data. Then we call it as a scalar variable. For example, I wanted to store a name called city. So I can declare a variable using my dollar symbol and the variable followed by the variable name and it's storing in a double quotes and my country and USA. Either the data can be stored in the form in, in double quotes or an in a single quotes so we'll see what is double quotes and what is single quotes what is the difference between them and uh, you can also add a numeric values or a floating values and uh, either it in the form of the quotes or it can be directly written with the numbers so so here if you see I'm not adding any quotes uh, that means it is considering it as a numeric value if it is a quotes it could consider it as a text right so in this way we declare a scalar variables type conversion what is a type conversion it's any languages that converts a strings and numbers whenever is necessary that is numbers to strings or strings to numbers okay uh, for example in order to add a floating point number so first uh, let us take a number one is nothing but we have two variables number one and number two number one is a normal integer and number two is a floating value so it can sum both number and a floating value I mean integer and floating right so this is nothing but the type conversion it internally adds both uh, floating and uh, integer number okay putting the number in one string so we can print it uh, the print says uh, the name says the sum of number is so it displays the results quoting strings single quote don't expand variable or escape sequence so as I said we are going to see the differences right so what does a single quote represent and what does a double quote represent so if you look at here single quotes don't expand variable or escape sequence so here I am declaring a way uh, dollar symbol and 9.95 so ideally the dollar itself is a variable but here you can see uh, when you declare a variable you just start with the dollar symbol right but here I wanted to explicitly print the value here so we can directly use the quotes and uh, double quotes do okay so here this will print the value of it dollar 9.95 if you wanted to print any variable data then you can directly if you feel like in this particular string uh, or the data you want e you wanted to print some variable then you can go for double quotes if you don't want to print any variables then you can go for a single quotes use a backslash to escape special characters in double quoted strings for example in a double quote uh, if you wanted to use a extra backslash or quotes quotes then you can use if black slash for example if you are not giving a backslash here it will think like the print command has been ended here but you wanted to print this statement on the output screen with double quotes in that case you can use black slash in the same way it is not only used for double uh, backslash it also used for dollar dollar also if you want to print the dollar symbol then it will also print the dollar symbol or else it will be thinking like it's something unusual okay so in this way we can use a quoting string so better quote marks this can look ugly so he said uh, the price is this so this is a tidier alternative so either I mean if you look at this it looks like double quotes and it will be confusing right so in this uh, we have an another option or alternative that is by coding if you wanted to code a double quotes so you can you will have a function called QQ and you place it in a bracket and you can just print it directly and if you wanted to use a single quotes then you can use a single quote then it can print it okay so that's that's the importance of the codes and uh, 
I hope you have understood of what is uh, what mean by scalar variables now let's, let's see undefined values so sometimes we declare a variable and we don't use it and uh, what is the status of that one so Perl by default it stores the special value called undef how do we test it uh, we can test using a define function uh, if define my var then you can assign undefined yourself okay so in this way we can use it is useful when you are writing a big program so then sometimes we might expect some values or sometimes the uh, va variable may not have a value stored in it at that time this is very much useful okay thank you so much for watching this video uh, this is all about a scalar variable so I will be coming up with another different kind of variable that is on arrays in the next video thank you so much have a great and pleasurable day or an evening